acute, obtuse, and right angles. All right, so I'm hoping that we remember from um, a previous video or topic, if you hadn't watched the video, that we have acute, obtuse, and right angles. So an acute angle is uh, less than 90, obtuse is greater than 90, and a right angle is 90. So those are the basic um, definitions for the three types of angles. So we can apply that same idea to a triangle, and we can call it either an acute triangle, an obtuse triangle, or a right triangle. So if you notice in my little sketch pad over here, I just stole their graphic that they have down low here. So definitely write some notes on this um, because you might not have the ability to just steal it on the other screen like I did. Um, so that makes it a little easier for me because I can just steal it and move it over. Um, so for this one, it wants us to decide for each triangle, are they acute, obtuse, or right? So when they go through their reasoning, so triangle A, this angle measures 90 degrees. So as soon as you have a 90 degree angle, one you can only have one 90 degree angle in a triangle. Um, you call it a right triangle. Um, and the reason you can only have one 90 degree angle, and I'm going to write right on here, is all of these have to add up to 180 degrees. So if I have 190, I'm going to subtract, and I have 90 left. So if I tried to put another 90 degree angle in here, and I subtract it again, I'd have zero. But I have three angles. I only had, I only did two here, and I'm already down to zero. So I can't have more than one 90 degree angle. I can only have 190. And then the other two angles have to be smaller than 90. It can be um, 88 and 89, um, but it can't, um, or 88, sorry, 88 and 2, or 89 and, two, and 1. I said that funny the first time. But it can't be 90. So it can be right below 90, and then another really, really tiny angle, um, but it can't be two 90s. All right, so because we have a 90 degree angle here, we immediately would click right, and then we go to a triangle B. So triangle B, they say, this angle measures more than 90 degrees. So here's the 120. So as soon as we have an angle that measures more than 90 degrees, we call it an obtuse triangle. And again, you can only have one angle that's that um, once it's obtuse, it has to be an obtuse triangle because again, they have to add up to 180 degrees. Every single triangle adds up to 180 degrees. And then if I have this 120 degrees here and I subtract, I have zero, I have 60. So this, this is 60 degrees. That's all I have left for the triangle. So I can't have another obtuse angle. And so even if I had 91, because 91 is bigger than 90, right? So I can go 91 like this. If I subtract, I'm going to show you my bar in here. So we end up with, uh, i got to borrow again. So 0 and 17. So we end up with 89, right? So 89 is smaller than 90. And I still have to split that between the other two angles. So 91 is obtuse. So we would call it an obtuse triangle if that happened. And then the other two angles would have to be acute or less than 90 degrees because I'd have to take this 89 degrees and split it. It doesn't have to split evenly. This by chance, um, these were 45s each and these were both 30s. doesn't have to split evenly. I could divide it up however I wanted to. One angle could be 1 degree and another angle could be 88 degrees. Be a funky looking triangle, but it can happen. All right. So we would click obtuse on this one because we have an obtuse angle. Triangle C, so in this one it says each angle measures less than 90 degrees. So there are no angles that are 90s, so it's not a right triangle, and nothing is obtuse. Everything is smaller than 90. So we call this an acute triangle because all the angles are acute. So if you don't have a 90 degree angle and you don't have an obtuse angle, it must be an acute triangle. It just means that all of those angles are smaller than 90. They still add up to 180. So if I say 50 plus 50, I get 100. If I add another 80, I get 180. So no matter what, all triangles have to add up to 180. We just have a lot of different types of angles. All right, so then triangle D, we have this angle measures 90. So we're back to another 90 degree angle. 
So as soon as we see a 90 degree angle, we just click right. All right, so now that I've explained that all, let's go ahead and give it a try. Okay, so triangle A here. So right away I see a 90 degree mark. As soon as I see the 90 degree, and I know that means a right triangle, or right angle, this has to be a right triangle. Triangle B. So I'm looking for either the right angle mark or something bigger than 90. So here's something bigger than 90. That means that it's obtuse. The triangle has to be obtuse. Uh, triangle C. So again, I see this 90 mark. As soon as I see the 90 mark, we have a right triangle. And angle or triangle D. So I see this is actually the same thing that they gave us on the example over here, isn't it? So we have all acute angles, which means that it is an acute triangle. Check. All righty, next. Triangle A. So I don't see a 90 degree mark, but I do see the 120, and that is bigger than 90. So anything bigger than 90 is obtuse. If I have one obtuse angle, triangle must be obtuse. Here's my 90 degree mark, so it's a right triangle. Um, in this case, um, and this is exactly the same <laughs> example for whatever reason over here, we actually have two of the exact same examples because this is also ex example B in, in our, the one that I stole from the explanation page. Um, and this is C from the explanation page. So again, we have all acute angles, so this must be acute. And these, by chance, they've given us this same one twice for these angles. But they can be any three angles that are smaller than 90 that all add up to 180. So they have to meet those rules. They all have to add up to 180, and they all have to be smaller than 90. All right, here's another right angle mark, so I'm going to click right. All right, one more. And do, 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 do. Okay, so here's another one. Yay, this is a different example finally. So we have 60, 60, 60. They're all smaller than 90. So that means they're all acute angles. The triangle's acute. Triangle B, I see that 90 degree mark. So I click right. Remember 90 degree, this, or this means right, right angle. As soon as I see the right angle mark, and I see it again on C, I click right. All right, triangle D, I don't see the right angle mark, but I do see 115. 115 is bigger than 90. So that means it's obtuse. All right, we're all done with that one. Yay.